I am headed uh, out to Ensenada to go explore. I want to, um, sorry, <laughs> my pull, whoa, uh, I have my hoodie with me because it said it was going to be in the high 50s, low 60s. <clears throat> so, not sure how cool it's going to be, so I just brought it with me just in case. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go back to that dosaria to get some Mexican candy for my kiddos. And uh, I'm gonna go back to the liquor place to go get another bottle or two of the tequila. And uh, I wanna try out Tacos Phoenix. It's supposed to be the like original fish taco place uh, there in Ensenada. So I'm gonna, I wanna check that out. I'd like to have a fish taco there. I heard their shrimp tacos are bomb diggity too. So I'm gonna try that. What else did I have on the agenda? Uh, I don't know, but I'll take you along. If there's anything new or old, I'll take you along either way. Um, my best friend and his wife are joining me. So you, a lot of you may know Evan if you watch a lot of my vlogs. Um, Evan's going to be with me and his wife, Sean. And our friends, Richard and Donna Carrier, are also going to be joining us. So hey, stay tuned. We'll be back. What's going on, Beach Bums? We just got done eating over at Senor Poblano's. Had some tacos, really delicious meal as usual. And um, in my last video, I didn't, some people were asking me, hey, did you go to any pharmacy or anything like that or had any kind of pharmacy? Uh, suggestions again I would always uh, you know tell you shop around do what you need to do but th this is the place I bought my uh, Harper medicine the uh, meant for less pharmacy and it is uh, let me give you some uh, landmarks it's across from the tequila room this big beautiful building here so you got the tequila room over here uh, something amigos over there Los Amigos over there that taco place that I showed you guys last in my last videos I mean just steps away over on the corner so again across the street from the tequila room and Los Amigos and the place is called Med for Less Pharmacy uh, I think they'll let me go inside I don't know let's see hang on let me go so, yeah, there's people in there. I'm gonna give them their uh, privacy. Anyway, so, um, I mean, they have everything that you might want. That's for you guys to decide what you want to get. Again, for me, I just got my Harper medicine here. It was super cheap. And, uh, yeah, all right, guys. Talk to y'all later. Okay, Beach Bounce, I am grabbing me a churro before I head back into port. The place I came to last time isn't here. It's a different it's a different place, but I'm gonna step back to let you film or film it so you can see it. So here's the little outside sign. And then this is what the place looks like. I've never tried this before, so I'll give you my my thoughts after I have it. So churros, artisanales. And I'm gonna step in so you can see the churros are made back here, fresh right back here is the, the churro press, and then take it in over here. And they have uh, I'm gonna show you some of the other options that they got these right here. So you could do those with a different. Um, I want to call them dipping sauces or whatever. You got this option over here. And this one over here. And this one. A bunch of different options. The, the prices are in pesos. So you'll have to do the conversion. And uh, a few other things here. Drinks and water. But there's the little churro press. You can see some of them already pressed out. And then he's just dipping it. Oh, here it comes. It just came out. Oof, you can hear that crackling. And now, now comes the other part with the cinnamon and sugar. And he's dipping that over there. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I hope it tastes, I hope it tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> Gracias. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Uh, 30 pesos or 150 dollars? 150, okay. Well, one moment. Okay, okay. 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 okay.
Oh, you got it? Are you sure? I'll get, I'll get you back. All right, guys, I'm gonna give this a try. One more? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Hold on a second. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, hot. Hot, hot. Whoa. Temperature hot. <laughs> Well, it's keep, uh, keep it. really good, really good cinnamon and sugar um, on it. Not like the other place, unfortunately, um, or fortunately. Um, a little doughy on the inside, I guess. Maybe, yeah, maybe could be a little bit um, thicker. Let me let me take another bite. Let me show you here. Yeah, it's it's decent for a buck fifty. Yeah, I mean I, I I'd do it again, but I definitely will keep trying different places when I'm down here. So I guess it's kind of good that this is a different vendor than I uh, used last time. There was one that I saw on a uh, YouTube video. I think it was called like Mr. Churro or something. That's the one I was looking for. I thought it was over here, but anyway, but not bad for a buck fifty. It's okay. Um, so you can try it out, see if you like it yourself. I wouldn't like give it huge high marks, but it was it was good. So, all right, thanks, be trunks. All right, one other thing, right next to the churro stand is this place where you can get different kind of fruits and mangoes and all this other stuff. So it's literally right next door to it. Let me uh, get your shot. I got the coca fruta, pina colada, coca camarón, all kinds of stuff. But my friend Donna got Donna got the mango. Mm -hmm and uh, they put looks like the uh, tahine and chamoy right chamoy and lime and lime it looks it looks delicious it is delicious. is it delicious it is and oh by the way donna has a youtube channel if you're into cooking vlogs and that kind of thing donna shut yourself out uh in the kitchen with delightful donna on youtube and instagram there you go in the kitchen with delightful donna so follow her subscribe and uh yeah you'll like you'll like it i and richard is right over here he's enjoying a churro what do you think richard it's pretty good it's like you said it's a little doughy a little doughy yeah. cooked a little bit more but i think it's done pretty good yeah i mean flavor wise on the outside i, I definitely would say it's more what i expect yeah. but on the inside yeah it's a little doughy a little doughy but you know again for a buck fifty you know i'm not mad at it but it, I, it wouldn't be something that i'd be like oh man i gotta go back and eat that that place again no i would definitely want to try something else one other thing real quick let me show you and again this is all right here by the port as we're headed back so this is where you're going to go back in sorry about the music in the background but this is where you'll go in right over here but there's also a place where they're doing a lotes over here so in case in case you're interested i haven't had them so i can't tell you if they're good or not but you can definitely give them a try so they got um here so anyway, if you wanted to on your way back, if you wanted to, so you got the churros, you got this place here that had the, the mangoes and stuff, and of course the elotes. All right, we're heading back to the ship. So here we go, we gotta navigate through the traffic here. Oh, we gotta go get in this line back here. Okay guys, I'll be back with you. All right, we're headed back into the ship. Somebody on my one of my previous videos asked about the uh, why we have to do a double check-in or check, I don't know, whatever, a security check coming back into the ship. So on that one, the only difference I noticed is that they actually ask for your um, ID uh, with your sign and sale card. So when you get inside, you just show your sign and sale card, and then you're running your stuff through the security stuff again. But that that's the only difference. I kind of want to ask them why, but then they're gonna be like, "Hey, why do you why do you care? <laughs> why do you why do you want to know if there's a uh, you bring something? In? I don't know." So anyway, somebody was asking me that, but I just wanted to know the difference in case anybody else was wondering. The, the difference that I noticed is that they ask for um, an ID, a picture ID, with the sign and sale card. And here, where we're just headed into, and they're gonna make me turn my camera off. Um, they don't ask for it, so hope that helps. Okay, Beach Bones, back from Ensenada. I'm in the room. I uh, just want to do a little Ensenada wrap up, and uh, yeah, and then we'll just uh, 
put, I'll tack this on at the end of the video here. I'm not sure yet because I'm coming back next week. I'm staying on the ship, so I'm coming back to Ensenada next week. So I'm curious if I'm going to make this one one big video or I guess it depends on how much footage I get and all that. So I might just combine the two videos into one. So I don't know. We'll see. So let me wrap up visit one uh, to Ensenada. Uh, we, I got off the ship with my my buddy and his wife, my, my actually two couples uh, friends of mine and uh, we decided to do the walk and uh, that was as I've, you've seen in my other videos it wasn't too bad. Uh, nice little walk temperature wise. I said it was gonna be I think in the high 50s low 60s but it was nice. I brought it I brought my hoodie with me and didn't need it. There was sometimes like a little cool breeze uh, but all in all it wasn't too bad um, I was wearing you know my t-shirt and uh, some jogger type pants and stuff but uh, I was fairly comfortable so temperature wise this is March today's what March 8th or something like that um, March 7th 6th 6th <laughs> I don't know what date it is it's, it's you're on a cruise ship you don't care about days right and I'm not getting off to the ship so then I, I care I care about it even less anyway so um, it, it's nice uh, we walked in and um, you know started walking to the downtown area we stopped at the uh, liquor place that I like to visit a Victor for a little bit told him I'd come back and buy my buy my tequila on the way back so I didn't have to lug it around and then we um, walked to the um, taco place I went to in my other video and uh, said hello to uh, Ricardo and the crew there um, and we were uh, my intention was to go to tacos Phoenix to try the fish tacos again because I'd heard you know that's kind of like the OG place um, but we ended up just sitting there uh, chit chatting and decided hey why, we'll just eat here and uh, so I, I might go back and say hello next time because it was only supposed to be like hey hello and then <laughs> but we were hungry and we said oh, screw it we'll just eat here so uh, nothing new to report there I mean it, it is what it is uh, but I want to try different places f you know because when I'm doing these vlogs I want to I want to give you guys some different perspectives you know going to the same place uh, doesn't really help a whole lot I did see so the reason why I say that because as we were walking when we first got onto the you know main drag if you will there was like a little taco stand and uh, it smelled really really good and I was like man I'd like to try that but I didn't really see anybody there and I thought mm, you know what we'll see but on the way back there was a long line of people waiting to eat there and it was looked like mostly locals uh, in that line so that and that's what I usually look for so again everybody use what you feel comfortable with with me if I see locals there then I feel comfortable about it so when I saw locals and a big line of locals at that it was like a taco cart or whatever you want to call it I should have got footage of it I apologize so what I'm gonna do in the next vlog that's why I was talking about maybe I'll, I'll combine these two I will capture it in the next vlog and and grab at least a taco there uh, and hopefully maybe even try to hit up tacos Phoenix as well I don't know it's gonna be tough to say but I'll, I'll, def I'll definitely try um, there was uh, that was one of the things I, I definitely saw there was also another one as you were walking back to the ship there was another again taco stand cart but it was more like seafood based I don't know it wasn't a taco stand it was like uh, ceviche and things like that so I stand corrected it wasn't it didn't seem like a taco stand it was more like getting ceviche and that kind of stuff and that looked really good too but um, so if nothing else I'll get footage of it and that was another one that I noticed a lot of locals at so that was like another thing that keyed me in on it my problem, unfortunately, I don't know if you want to consider a problem, I had gastric sleeve surgery, so I can only eat so much. And I it sucks because I'd really like to give you guys, you know, more of a perspective on the foods and things like that, but I can only eat so much. Um, so if nothing else, I'll get you the footage and uh, let you see it. And again, I'm going to try to find places that I see that seem like where the locals are going to. So again, then, you know, maybe it'll make you feel more comfortable going there, especially when it's kind of like a, a taco stand, you know, cart type place. Um, what else? Uh, we went to that pharmacy. You'll see that in the footage. Um, uh, the, the pharmacy where, you know, again, shop around as I've always mentioned before, but um, I got a good deal before on my heartburn medicine. I've been using it and uh, seems okay. Um, yeah, and then we walked back and then I went back to the liquor place to get my tequila and uh, 
one of my new friends from Australia. Um, there's a four four ladies that are travel agents that are traveling uh, together that came out here, and uh, so one of them was uh, she was actually at another place called La Corris Plaza. So uh, this is another key note that I wanted to give you. So there's a La Corris Plaza that's a little bit down. The one that that I that I like to go to, and again, go wherever you feel like. <clears throat> when you pass the McDonald's, there's a McDonald's on the corner. When you pass that McDonald's, it's gonna be on your left side. That La Corris Plaza is the one that I usually go to. There's, a, if you keep walking down, and that's where I found the ladies from Australia, they were in front of that one, and they're like, hey, you know, is this the one? And I'm like, no, I'm walking to it, it's this way. Um, so one of the one of the four ladies followed me, followed me back, and uh, we went there, and she bought some, some stuff that she wanted. But, so anyway, the, the key thing I want you to know for if you're wanting to go to that liquor store, it's the one just past the McDonald's. Um, that was it. And then we, oh, sorry, on the way back, we hit the churro stand uh, that was there. And again, you'll see that if you're watching this video through. So this is the recap. Um, <clears throat> it was it was okay. It, flavor wise, on the outside, it was what I expect. You know, good amount of cinnamon, good amount of sugar. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, it was too doughy inside for me. So would I go back? Probably not. Again, keeping it honest, keeping it real. Would I go back? No. Um, but if you like it, doughy, for a buck fifty, you know, uh, it's not bad. But for me personally, it was way too doughy. So I'll try to find another churro place for myself and for anybody else that's not into the doughy uh, churros. I also mentioned the place where my friends got the the, the mango uh, thing, and there was a low tip place that I haven't tried, so I can't really say. And I didn't see anybody there, so locals or otherwise. So I don't know. Um, uh, and then you know we we came back in just so you know when you're coming back in um, they wanted you to have a mask on and then as soon as we passed through we took the mask off so kind of silly but it is what it is uh, and then yeah we walked back on the ship and here I am so anyway that's just a quick recap of this Ensenada visit again I'll be back next week and uh, try to again find you some new places and I most likely I'll probably add them on to this video and probably do another little recap. So if you guys like the, these little recaps, this is something new that I want to start trying to do, not just with the excursion, or sorry, the ports, but even on my days, just kind of give you a recap of things that I may have not been able to capture on video or that kind of thing. Um, I like it, I've seen other people do it, uh, and I think it's a, it's a good thing. So if you like it, let me know down in the comments. And lastly, just want to let you know as always, if you're watching this for the first time or you're not subscribed, it costs you nothing. And it definitely helps me this channel out to continue to grow to continue to get you guys more information i'm doing this for fun obviously you know the growth is and, and all the revenue i'm getting that money is going to st jude's you guys will see that in september when i go on the carnival horizon so i it, it's really it's really just for fun and continue to meet i mean on this trip sorry and i'll just kind of close with this on this trip i've met so many people that have watched my videos and thank you to all of you that are watching this that have come up and said hello and said i watch your videos great information thank you do you do a good job keep do keep going at it that's why i continue to make it not for the money not for anything else because people are actually getting something out of it so if you're getting something out of it or you met me on this cruise or you know see me on a future cruise uh, please come up and say hello take a picture with me i love it i've been posting them on my facebook group and if you're not part of the Facebook group, come join it. It's called The Beach Life, just the same as the YouTube channel. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching as usual, and we'll talk to you all soon. Have a good day.